hello welcome back now this is the time to create a login system for this admin panel so everyone cannot access this admin uh, panel except the admin themselves so first of all we need to create a table inside our e-commerce database for the admins so uh, we can insert some users or there so the table name will be I mean the table name will be admins and there will be only three columns we'll just click go and first of all we will give a name user underscore ID and second one will be user underscore email third one will be user underscore password pass first is integer first type is integer and value is 10 it will be we'll assign a primary key and also auto increment the second one will be varchar 255 the password will also be watcher 255 and we will save it the table has been created you can see admins will insert a user into it with their email address for example my email address is awparishan at gmail.com and my password will be wali and another user saima at yahoo.com and password will be khan that's it will just insert these two admins click go they have been inserted you can check out here inside the admins folder user id 1 2 and two users are there their passwords and their names now they wants to uh, access this uh, I mean this admin panel then they will have to enter their details inside a login form so we can create that login form basically uh, directly a simple one but we can also pick up a beautiful one from the internet just write uh, HTML and CSS login forms you write this in Google you will find a lot of beautiful beautiful uh, you know login forms you can use that just to you can change their attributes reply your uh, PHP there for example if I click this 30 best free CSS and HTML login form I knew it in a new tab so I will show you there are many 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 login forms you can just take the source code of any of this uh, you know there are many you can select one but I have one I have saved it uh, or here I have bookmarked one which is also very beautiful I will show you if you like that that will be more interesting uh, login form sorry yeah, this is the URL code pin dot io this is the website you can take this free login form from preview of this uh, login form is this one you can see it's a very simple one and uh, here is the HTML code you can just copy this whole code and this is the CSS code you can copy this as well I will copy the HTML part and will come to my notepad plus plus will create a new file and will paste that code over here and uh, can also copy this whole HTML select uh, them all and after that control C or right click to copy we'll create a new file we'll copy paste it there so this is the HTML uh, sorry the CSS for that form login form and this is the HTML so the simplest thing is to do is to add the HTML5 take before this and after that then HTML because this is just inside a div take and then head section and then title login form title close then head close and we'll start body here and we'll close body here and HTML after that 
it's very simple now just control s to save and we'll save it inside the admin area with the with the name login.php that's it we saved it now we will also save this css file go to file menu and click save or control s and save this as uh, i mean inside the styles folder save as login underscore css sorry login style dot css and save now you can just remove this from here inside the head section you can use link take to include that css style over here just simply rel relationship is style sheet and a harap i mean the hyper text references styles then backslash login underscore style dot css media under uh, me media equal to all that is a single tag and we have included this over here now if you go to our admin panel so this is our admin panel and after that if we simply say login dot php so we can see this login form over here beautifully login form now we can change uh, you know the values inside the login form we'll just uh, change this text to admin login admin login and after that uh, one input type is there text type is text name is u name but we will make it uh, email and placeholder will change it to uh, email placeholder is a simple you know temporary text and this is required you can see we were also using required required and uh, this one is password its name is password the second uh, i mean input and after that there is a button and button name will be something like uh, login that's it and log me in we'll simply make it login that's it control s to save now just refresh it you can see it main login email password and then he or she will click login button so that's done now the first and foremost thing is to come to this index.php file and in the starting of the page before starting of the page even before the html tag just start a php block and say if first of all uh, okay first of all start session because we are using sessions over here and then say if is not set exclamation sign is not set dollar underscore session equal to user email I mean I'm talking about this user underscore email field inside the admins table if that is not set um, that's mean if that is not that person is not logged in then automatically you will say echo redirect this person to somewhere else i mean redirect this person to because he or she is not a, an admin so redirect that to index dot php if someone wants to access this thing i mean access this login uh, i mean this uh, if someone wants to access this page directly i mean this index page of the uh, main page of the admin so we will simply redirect them to index.php and we will uh, create a variable a url variable i mean uh, a variable not underscore admin and we'll equal it to you are not an admin 
okay that is inside the if statement if is set, if is not set else if is set that's mean then we will create we'll add a curly bracket here and we'll show the rest of the page and after the html we will simply add php and we'll close that bracket we have started for else statement here you can observe this one i'm talking about control s to save now we will go uh, to directly i mean directly we will go to access that page i think there is some problem let me check if is not if is not set session uh, user email redirect the person to sorry lo redirect the person to login.php sorry because this is itself index.php redirect the person to login.php and uh, in else situation show this whole page i mean the index page of the admin panel so if now we are if we are just uh, try trying to accessing that page the main page so we will not uh, be allowed to go there because the session is not you can see we cannot go without entering email and password using this i mean admin login form that is there we can also echo that variable we created over here this one i mean the url variable on the login page over here before the login can simply echo uh dollar underscore get and i can simply echo that note <coughs> underscore admin variable and i can make it h2 it h2 and can save it inside h2 take of html will simply give some style to it style and color will be white and text align will be centered that's it control is to save we can get uh, uh, and show the data from a url variable which we did here you can see and if this is we have also added it sign if this is not active then that uh, this will not generate an error refresh you can see you are not an admin admin login so that is it we cannot go to admin page i mean the index page we cannot go there without entering this e login credentials we will create uh, we will in next part we will create the script if someone is really an admin and has the password in e uh, email so they will uh, i mean you know they will simply put their details and then we'll click login they will be allowed to go to index page of the admin area so and we will also create a session session are very important in this case so in next tutorial i'm coming back stay tuned